All right, guys, hope you're well. So it has been just under four months, like three and three quarters months, since we started the eucalyptus mead. Now, it is a sweet mead. That is what we've set it out to be. Um, it took forever to ferment. Partly my fault, I will put my hand up. I actually used high alcohol tolerant yeast, which is good, but at the same time, it prefers high temperatures, warmer temperatures. And it was just in time for us to have a cold snap. Here, relatively, it was down in single figures most of the time. So uh, I left it on the side and I was watching it slowly bubble away. The last couple of weeks, it has stopped bubbling and it has cleared. Well, as much as this meat is going to clear. So, uh, here it is. I mean, it's looking, it's looking really good. Considering we didn't caramelize it or anything, that is really good. So if you haven't seen the part one video, I'll stick the link up there so well, you can see what happened. I, I'm really excited to try this. So I did use a glass demijohn and um, that's cool. I mean, they're, they're okay. I've got them kicking around, but I do prefer plastic ones because you can actually get a gallon. So uh, I've gone ahead to save time and sterilized everything. My worktop, my hydrometer, not the pint glass because that's just weird. Five bottles because I never get six bottles out of one of these glass things. The siphon tube and the brewing peg. Oh yes, the most important piece of kit, some say. For those people that don't know, I sterilize using dish soap and thin bleach. The cheaper the better. Um, you would have thought it would be the more expensive the better, but cheaper the better. So now that bit's done and out of the way, let's crack it open because I haven't opened this yet. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. <coughs> wow, carbon dioxide. That smells really good. Um, Hard to describe the smell because I'm high on CO2. So let's put the hydrometer in. So we wanted this to be a sweet mead. Um, when I added in the two kilos of honey, I was expecting somewhere around a 5% sugar content when we're finished. Which, ooh, which looks like we've got. Let's just do my weird hat thing. That's why I got the hat. Makes me look cool. A hundred and something. So it's sitting right at 1.040. Oh, little bit higher than I was expecting. I wanted it down at the 1.030. So, oh well. It was old yeast and I did abuse it. Like, uh, well, like something that you abuse. My fault keeping it cold but still it smells really good which gives us an approximate alcohol percentage of about 12 percent I was looking at about 13 13.5 something like that so a uh, little bit of loss that's my fault and yeah, old yeast anyway that's not why we're here we want to see what it tastes like because well I haven't seen anyone made eucalyptus mead so, got my lovely siphoning tube all ready and set up. Clear bottle, gotta, gotta do the presentation bottle. In goes. Yeah, that's about right, brewing peg. And since this has already been filled up with fresh water, it acts like an auto site. Ah, it acts like a complete, there we go. It acts like an auto siphon. Because well, sometimes I'm just feeling that lazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill up these bottles. See you in a bit. So, what we ended up with is uh, these two bottles. Excuse me. These two bottles. 
and of course the fifth bottle and most of a pint. I could have possibly got a little bit more out if I really tried but it would have been a bit cloudy. Still not six bottles. Grr, grr. Anyway, so the mead is now in the bottle. It needs degassing, so you know, just give it a shake. And oh, I've got a microphone. Ooh, sounded wet. <laughs> anyway, so I can go ahead and degas them as I see fit. Or don't, leave them slightly carbonated. Ooh. So what we ended up with is this beautiful, like, golden color. Give it a good shake. It does foam. Just a little bit. It's, it's a bit gassy. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We've got this stuff, a pint, that we can now enjoy straight away. It is sweet mead. You can drink it now. And I'm going to. So let's give, a, let's give it a good whiff. Oh, that smells good. It has a little bit of a CO2 edge to it. Still slightly carbonated. But it has a dark, rich, almost kind of molasses, honey type smell to it. It's kind of a, a weird one. There's only one way to find out. That's to drink it. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Strong. It is um, kind of alcoholic. Something tells me I may have got the uh, hydrometer reading slightly wrong because, uh, well, this tastes like it's 14%. <laughs> and that's with the sugar inside. Mm. But since the hydrometer was maxed out, it could well be. Wow. That is really tasty. I feel warming, warming on the inside. And the eucalyptus, it's kind of dark, pendulous. Mm. That's, that's, it's very difficult to describe what I'm tasting because it's good, but it doesn't taste like it looks, especially now. It looks kind of light and floral and la la la, but the taste, taste is really good. It kind of has alcohol, something like molasses, but it's not eucalyptus, funny that. Slightly warming, it's like a, it's like eucalyptus meat. I don't think there's anything else like it. Mm. Cheers. So this mead took forever to ferment. Now, is it worth doing? Because well, that's what you kind of want to know. I mean, it's earthy, it's honey-esque, it's very, very nice. I mean, it is a sweet mead, but I'm not really a fan of the sweet mead, but this is really good. I mean, it didn't finish where we wanted to, but the hydrometer wasn't accurate when it went in because it tastes like something that is 14 or 16 percent and it is it's very nice but at the same time very strong so i am actually quite glad that i messed up and it, it did finish slightly sweeter or maybe it didn't i'm not entirely sure at this point all i know is a really good mead that's that's all I can say so on that note I really hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well subscribe if you feel like it maybe we should do some other kind of really deep dark weird meads or just some raw mead I have, I have none here. maybe anyway guys carry on home brewing see you later do you know what? I haven't had that much and I'm actually starting to feel a little drunk. 
Yep, it's strong mead. <laughs>